Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. <laughs> Um, I'm home today and taking care of my arm. You know, I had bursitis and I got a big needle put in it and they drained out 40 cc's of fluid. Um, I've had to take some different medications and anti-inflammatories and stuff. And after all the stuff that has happened today from listening to Jerry Jones talking basically about firing the guys, uh, Sean and RJ on, um, 1053 the fan you know and saying that he's headed down to atlanta of course for the meeting and challenging people to be able to do his job and literally saying that you can't fix a team that you can't just bring in players and during that whole thing Devonte adams gets traded to the jets if that wasn't enough then okay for a conditional third if that wasn't enough, then Amari Cooper was traded to the Buffalo Bills for um, Amari Cooper and a six for a third and a seventh. That happened. That happened. And we sit here and, of course, you know, think about things that we could have done to make our team great, you know, like. I don't know, maybe pick up the phone and have talked to Derrick Henry in the offseason. Maybe instead of getting 30-something past their prime defensive linemen, you know, look at actually bringing in a few studs since we let go some starters. Maybe, you know, trading a third-round pick for a wide receiver like Devontae Adams instead of a fourth-round pick for a backup quarterback. I don't know. Maybe, you know, us on here on YouTube, you know, like Jerry says, nobody's better effing at that job than he is. We're just YouTubers that don't know a damn thing. So to make this worse, um, about two hours ago, literally I felt nauseated. My elbow was hurting quite a bit. I took some of the pain pills. I literally crawled up on the sofa, under the sofa, you know, put my cowboy's pillow over my head to hide and took a nap just to try and feel better. Try and ease my pain and hope that I would wake up and I would get some good news or something that maybe something positive would happen this week, even though I'm being trolled right now by Philly 500, who's literally, you know, ha having a, he's having a ball right now. He's having a great time. At my expense. And you know what? There's not a damn thing. I, I say I deserve it. Believing in this. So lo and behold, I get up. I saw a video, which was kind of cool. Uh, my dad has a shopsmith machine. And I saw this video about a company that is now shopsmith, where they used to have like 26 plants. Of course, this machine nobody uses anymore. Um, but this manufacturing in Dayton, Ohio, where he's trying to reinvent the company and bring it back, you know, you have to understand I started working woodworking when I was about 11, 12 years old on a shopsmith Mark two, which is one of their original machines when I was 11 years old. So that's like, you know, 48 years ago. And to see that company being manufacturing stuff in, in America was actually heartwarming. That made me feel good. But then I see an article in the Atlantic from Diane Rossini about Jerry Jones and the trade deadline. You know, in past years, when it came to the trade deadline, the Joneses would basically oh, still happen. Basically, would say, "Oh yeah, well we're going to be active, and we're, we're waiting for people to call us." You know, Jerry, as you say, if the phone's not ringing, that's me calling. So according to Diana, Jones said the Cowboys will not be active ahead of the November 5th trade deadline. He also said there would be no changes made to the head coach or coordinator positions. Jones did recognize the Cowboys need to improve in several areas during practice. 
we sitting here talking about practice. <laughs> Not the game. Not the game. We talking about practice. <laughs> Oh, we talking about practice, man. How silly is that? We sitting here getting molly whopped in games, and we sitting here, we talking about practice, man. Not the game. Not the game. Not the game. We sitting here talking about practice. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. I have to laugh to keep from crying. Okay, Joe's comments came on the heels of an embarrassing 47-9 loss to the Detroit Lions. The 38-point blowout was the Cowboys' fifth fifth biggest loss in franchise history, and was Dallas' second 20-plus loss of the season. The others being 44-19, dismantling by the New Orleans Saints. When the Saints came in and they marched all over our behinds. The Cowboys' 3-3 three three start is their worst start since 2020, when they finished 6-10. and 10. That was the last time the Dallas Cowboys failed to reach the playoffs. Playoffs? <laughs> Don't talk about playoffs. Are you kidding me? Playoffs? You're talking about playoffs? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Playoffs? Oh, you're talking about playoffs? <laughs> oh. But Jones sees no issues with current personnel. It said he wants to figure things out internally to try and turn the season around. It starts with the defensive side. The Cowboys have given up the ninth most yards per game at 356 yards and the third most points per game through six games. On offense, Dak Prescott has had a decent start to the season following historic four-year $240 million extension. He is, has the most passing yards with 1,602. I'm sorry, third most. And has also collected eight TDs. The main issues have been six interceptions, four which have come over the last two games. The Cowboys as a whole have failed to control the ball as they have posted 11 turnovers, the second most in the NFL behind the Las Vegas Raiders. Many of the Cowboys' issues are correctable without having to make moves on the trade market. Whether the Cowboys can fix them will determine whether they can complete in the playoffs. Yes, good people. <laughs> we can fix this shit <laughs> with the people we have right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can fix it because, Jerry, you, you always fix this shit, don't you? You know what you're doing, don't you, Jerry? <laughs> God, oh, please, <laughs> oh, boy, I thank you guys very much for watching, yeah, peace.